Welcome to Macro Microcosm Literary Review. Today we are reviewing the novel Amity by Nazarene Pejvek, published by Inanna. I received this novel in a book trade direct from the author, and I have to admit it is another of the novels which took time to absorb, even more time to write about. If you are sensitive to the topics of war, rape, murder, and trauma, please click on my review for The Freeze Frame Revolution by Peter Watts instead. This is not your book. Born in North America, I did not recognize the privilege of living in a peaceful West Coast Canadian environment until as a teenager I got involved with a West African medical charity. Charity became my lifeblood a family affair of endless volunteer hours and late nights before school the next morning. As it was, I recognized with wide, cerulean eyes that my childhood and adolescence was a gift of my sense of place, a gift my father and his immigrant parents did not receive after the enfolding horror of the Second World War. Reading Amity by Nazarene Pejvak brings me back to my Oma's kitchen table in 2006 when she deemed me old enough to sit with coffee and baked goods we made together for the first time. Her last chance to teach her divorce-stricken distant granddaughter of the life she lived. A childhood consumed by the terrors of Hitler's Germany, running from the Russians while attempting to keep her siblings as together as she could. Her eventual husband, my grandfather, survived Warsaw at the same time and journeyed to Canada for a fresh life, a start away from the ravages of war and the oppressive regime changes of 20th century Europe. My pardons for the long introduction, Amity requires a disclaimer, not for the quality of its prose or how the novel is put together. Inanna did a fantastic job of it, and I'm certain Nazreen is a proud author. The book is perfectly done, its cover art pristine and pages well laden. The editing is wonderful inside. The one thing I might say about it is that it does seem like the characters are speaking English as a second language at some points, which they are, so it only adds a bit of emotional authenticity to their experience. It's the content that gives me pause. Reading of personal struggle is difficult, especially when the novel is based on war stories told from a feminine perspective. We venture from Croatia and Serbia to Iran via Canadian's west coast, following women whose lives bear the eternal bruises of the survivor. Copious bruises, which, at least for Ragusa, begin the tale with a near suicide. This is not a book to crack open on a casual afternoon with a cup of tea or relaxation in mind. It's a novel of struggle and contempt for the idiocy of war and misogyny. A book to raise high in academic and educational circles to teach empathy to those of us who were lucky enough to live in a place devoid of such conflicts. Pejvak creates a tome for activism, a gut-wrenching, sob-inducing extrapolation of horror produced to condemn apathy and bring people closer to helping each other with grace. This was not a book I enjoyed but a novel I remain conscious of on my bookshelf, a sore spot carefully crafted to share experiences and inspire aid. Through it, we can shake those sleeping masses to wake up and see why programs for refugees and multicultural community outreach are integral to our survival. I struggled for months to appropriately define Amity and can only come to the conclusion that it is a wake-up call. A love letter to the quiet suffering who finally made it to their rescue country only to discover their ghosts chased after them and took up space in their homes. Amity clings and hovers over the mind, a visceral and sometimes brutal shiver which all should read. It should be kept sacred a sign of our times and a firm reason for living our lives always in grace, compassion, and aid to our fellow human beings. If you ever needed a reason to become a pacifist or an activist to stand up against the evils in this world, this is it.
There is no truer emotional landscape you can find in Canadian or international literature that can tell the story of war survivors better than Amity by Nazarene Pejvac. A cautionary tale against falling to despotism, class and tribal struggle, and antique cultural misogyny. If we require a reminder as to why others struggle, and if we catch apathy lingering in our conversations, there is no better scripture to compassion toward our fellow human beings than this book. And that is something beyond praise. Something beyond whether or not I liked it. This book affects you. It takes you by the hand and leads you away from water with rocks in your pocket falling out of its seams. If you have a book you would like to be reviewed, please visit our website, vredamedia.ca. The link is in the description box down below. Please follow us on social media at Macromicrocosm on Twitter and subscribe to our podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, and our YouTube channel, Vreda Film, for weekly reviews. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a fantastically creative day.